it's uh, seven o'clock Monday morning and I've just come downstairs now I know I've been distracted over the last week I know I've had other stuff going on but the state of my house is beyond any excuse now so I'm going to do a quick before and show you what the heck I'm dealing with this morning and then I'm going to crack on and deal with some of this shit because this cannot be allowed to continue oh and that's yesterday's makeup by the way doesn't look as good this morning small disclaimer it's not all my mess but here we go into the front room dog toy basket pulled out from the unit over there behind the dog all the cushions on the floor as usual all of the cushions by the way have been destroyed by molly they're all ripped open at one end the sofa's ripped open the back of the sofa doesn't exist behind that there's absolutely nothing she's destroyed it all curtains closed by some kind of random psychopath who doesn't know how to close curtains i mean look at even the state of that over here god knows how long's worth of dust on top of the v-box random stuff that shouldn't even be a pair of bathroom scales on top of there jigsaws stuff on the shelves that doesn't get some sympathy cards they're very nice but you know one of that's old birthday natalie's birthday was the 9th of september today is the 4th of november that birthday card is still there assorted rubbish there this piece here, the, the mantelpiece, is supposed to be completely clear apart from two candles, one at each end. Not supposed to have a bottle of water sticking out of it. Random PlayStation. Not ours. I think it must be Anthony's. Doesn't live here anymore. Doesn't seem to notice. Dust down there. More dog toys everywhere. Molly's bed with an assortment of whatever she's stolen recently. That's my empty Reese's box. She hasn't had my full Reese's box. More dust. More mess. Um, bitten into a tube of anthesan there on the shelf and then on the table, on my dining table where we will eat our meals, ha 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 another assortment of stuff that's been put out of Molly's reach so, Playstation games, bit of laundry bag of stuff that came out of the old car when I swapped cars, now that was June yeah, so that's been there since June I'm, 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 I am showing you my shame right now, internet um, again, random stuff Plant that needs to go out into the garden before it's too late. Anthony's shoes there out of reach of, not, of Molly. This box I'll talk to you about in a bit. My coat from yesterday. I don't remember putting my coat there. It's possible that Molly took it off the hooks and started to chew it. And then somebody picked it up and put it on the table. Another pile of laundry. This is dishes that's just come down from upstairs. I mean, I, we, we don't use Tupperware upstairs. But this was it's come home from the car boots. So I need to go through the, the dishwasher before I can wash it. And then underneath there is actual dishes that I've had upstairs. Um... Further crud. The only thing that isn't cruddy is the bin because it's empty because I emptied it yesterday. And then into the kitchen. Random assortment of stuff on the floor down there that shouldn't be there. Random bits of hoover that are supposed to be plugged into the hoover itself. You're supposed to be there. Uh, recycling hasn't been taken out for probably three or four days, I would say, looking at that. Um... Anthony's came in and cooked himself something last night, and that's his saucepan. Bless him. I, I, you know, you don't live here. Just keep mentioning that. Keep reminding myself that he doesn't live here. Kitchen floor is filthy. Random grater lid on the floor. No idea why. Laundry. This laundry has been in the machine, to my knowledge, since Thursday at least. So that has to be washed again because today is Monday. Round here, pile of random shit on the draining board. This is Anthony's sink for his van. Quite why it's been sitting on my draining board for a, at least a month, anybody's guess. Anthony's dishes from last night when he cooked, again, just chucked into the sink. Dishwasher. The reason he hasn't put his dishes in the dishwasher is because it's full of clean stuff and he doesn't want to empty it. Uh, more dishes here and then the flowers that I had to move away from Molly because she was trying to eat them. And all the cleaning products on the windowsill. So it's not that we don't know how to clean. It's not that we don't have cleaning products. But... The cleaning cup is also full of cleaning products and we're plainly just not using them. I'm not going to film myself doing it because I'm in my pyjamas. I look like crud. Oh, I didn't come over here, did I? Worktop. This worktop is supposed to be a clear, pleasant space. So here is hotspot number one at one end. As we move along, cake, nothing wrong with cake. Always have some cake in the house. Um, all this is bread and it should be in the bread bin, but the bread bin's underneath somewhere. More clean laundry this time. Uh, more random crud and look tumble dry dust I should suppose we'd go in the bathroom as well couldn't we okay in the bathroom a flannel that Natalie used to clean the sink after she dyed her hair god knows how many half empty products 
random cleaning stuff in the bath not being used. It's disgusting. Look at that. I pulled that out of the plug hole yesterday and left it there. There is no excuse for me to live like this. So my dad died, so what? That's not an excuse not to clean your house. So I've been busy, so what? That's not an excuse not to clean your house. So eBay's been shit, that's even less excuse. Because if eBay's shit, then why aren't you cleaning your house if, if you're not busy passing stuff? So, I'm having an intervention with myself and I'm gonna get this cleaned. But as I said, I'm not filming myself doing it because I'm in my pajamas, I look like shit and I intend to just fire one through. But I will give you an after, afterwards. Quick update, I'm not finished. I haven't washed the floor in the kitchen yet and the front room's not finished yet, but this now looks like this. So cleaning stuff's still here because there is no room in this cupboard until I have a proper tidy out. But I've cleaned the sink several times and used it again since. Cleaned away some of that. I'll clean here. This now looks like this. So this corner is still a bit of a hot spot because there's stuff there that just doesn't live anywhere else. Again, I need a massive cupboard clear out to tidy up. But now the worktop now looks like this. The reason I'm stopping is because of this. This is the fan belt for my vehicle, which I managed to break, split, whatever one does to a fan belt last night. It's buggered, as you can see. So that was why the car was playing up last night, because the fan belt is gone. And because this has happened, I need to get Anthony to take me to the office to pick up the stuff I've sold him, because he needs to go to work. I need to crack on and do that now. So I'm stopping cleaning for a while while I go and get the stuff from the office and then I'll crack on with it again later. But it looks much better. This hot spot here is tidier. Like I said, I need to clean the floor. The recycling is waiting to go out. I've managed to produce a lot more. When you come through into here, you can see that I haven't got very far. Cleared the floor a bit. I've started to clear the table. I've done some tidying here and some tidying over there. But, um, but yeah, I haven't got very far in here. There's still a lot more to do. So I need to go and get dressed so that I can take the dogs out and then go to the office with Aunt, get the stuff I've sold, and then I can come back and crack on a bit more and I need to sort the fan belt problem out. She's just gone. I just didn't get the camera out in time. She went from this end to that end, bounding, skimming like a stone all the way up the entire length of the wet patch. <laughs> now she's in the other wet patch behind the hump that you can't see. Buddy's just shouting at her. Buddy does not like to get wet and he thinks she's an idiot. <laughs> you guys, don't know if you can hear her splashing away, but she's just having a manic moment as she comes. I don't know whether she's going to come back through or whether she's going off the other, in the other direction. Kai paddles. Molly splishes. Molly, this way! She's here somewhere up the field. She'll come back round. <whistles> come on, this way! Here she comes. I don't know if you can see her. No, I've lost her. There she goes. And splish, splish. <laughs> oh, God. Just as well I didn't wash the kitchen floor yet because that's going home to drip on it in a minute <laughs> and she splish all the way up the one sploosh 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 <laughs> these two are just plodding along I'm back from the office done a bit more cleaning and I just wanted to open these two boxes this one arrived from Mel at Sparrow's End probably about two weeks ago and this is the first chance I've had to go through it. I opened it, saw what it was. It's the first chance I've had to go through it just because I've been so snowed under with stuff. So um, Mel says, it's quite an eclectic or possibly shit mixture of books. Love Mel. It's definitely not shit. But I've just been through them for my Instagram stories. But I'll go through them very quickly for you guys again. Further doings of Millie Molly Mandy. God, I love Millie Molly Mandy. Um, an Ian Sansom, uh, Agatha Christie, a Lee Russell, a Kate Morton. Neither of those two bottom ones have I read before. I have, I'm not sure about the Ian Sansom. Um, then we've got a Wycliffe, a Ruth Rendell, um, a Morse, Mary Beard, Women in Power. That one's going to be interesting. And then Nikki French and Nigel, Monty, uh, Nigel, My Family and Other Dogs by Monty Don, which I'm really looking forward to. So I'm pleased about that. And then I'm going to open this box and show you what's in here. So my mum asked me and my brothers if we wanted anything specific belonging to my father as a, a remembrance, a memento. And my brothers have... have um, done what they wanted and had what they wanted and I asked if I could have these so this is a series of books by Thorne Smith they are humorous novels I remember reading these probably when I was too young to really appreciate them properly um, maybe when I was 
11 or 12 I read these. He's been on my dad's bookshelf for my entire life. I read them when I was 11 or 12. I read them again in my early 20s, um, borrowing them from my dad and reading them one at a time. And I've always thought that, you know, if dad wasn't around anymore, these are, these are what I'd like. So this is what I've got to, as my memento of my father, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 11 Thornsmith humorous novels. Um, they're all hardback. They're not first editions. They are, I don't know, not massively valuable in the eyes of the general public. To, but to me, I'm delighted to have them. I now have to actually get rid of some books off my shelf to enable those to fit on somewhere because these these have got to be kept up out of Molly's way definitely in the meantime they're going back in the box for safety because I'm not risking Molly uh, ripping these up okay it's still not perfect but it's a lot better I still haven't done the floors yet I'm going to do the floors next and then go upstairs and leave them to dry so so far can't do anything about that it is just buggered <laughs> everything over there has been cleaned and polished this has been cleaned and sorted this has been tidied the table's been cleaned um, I cleaned the front of the sofas where they were all minging. Dogs come in and shake themselves and whatever. And then I showed you the kitchen earlier, and I think anything's changed in the kitchen apart from I've taken some of the recycling out. There's still more so recycling to go out. And uh, yeah, Molly's breakfast that she didn't eat for some reason. I'm sure she had buddies instead of her own. So yeah, it's uh, it's not perfect, but it's so much better than it was, and it was feeling a bit oppressive when I came down this morning. So. I'm going to go and do my parcels now. <laughs> there, there he goes. Off on the back of the tow truck to be sorted out. Stay in my garden at Steptoe's yard around here, I tell you. I've got paving slabs and pallets and all sorts. But yeah, there goes my car. Off to be a... Uh, off to the car. There's the car doctor. Look, that's Martin, the car doctor. Going to sort him out for me. Hello, it's... Uh, I think it's about half past three. I've just come to pick my car up and there has been extremely heavy rainfall by the garage and what one might call some localised flooding. I've had to take my shoes off to paddle through this, hang on I'll show you now, <laughs> to paddle through this to get into my car. So now I've got cold wet bare feet and I don't know whether it's not legal to drive with bare feet so I should have to wait for them to dry a bit before I can put my shoes back on. Ho oh, hum, <laughs> interesting weather conditions we've been having recently. You can see some of it out there as well. It's literally uh, the car park's on a on a slant anyway, and my car's parked at the bottom. So I'm going to turn the blowers on to dry my feet so I can put my shoes back on. <laughs> it's seven o'clock. I am knackered. I think you can tell by the um, hold matchsticks holding the eyes scenario that I'm knackered. I've been, I'm fair as I was cleaning the kitchen at seven o'clock this morning, and I've had a fairly busy day. So. Um, I got all my parcels done this morning. They they've all gone. I went back for the car. I've come home. I've bathed two dogs this evening because they've come back filthy. So uh, I'm going to go to bed, even though it's only seven o'clock. I'm also cold. I'm cold. I'm tired. I'm going to go to bed and uh, watch some TV for a bit and maybe read and have an early night. And then tomorrow I need to go to Costco because we are nearly out of dog food. And I'm almost at crisis point with Pepsi Max, which is this cannot be allowed to continue. So tomorrow will be a Costco run and I will get some more listing done tomorrow. This is my plan for tomorrow. And yeah, I will see you tomorrow, which is Tuesday. See you then. Good morning. It's Tuesday. It's about 20 past nine. Still in bed. Here comes Molly. Dog just came for their walk. They're overexcited. Anthony took them this morning. I don't know if they're wet and soggy. I'm kind of lurking in bed so as not to find out. Oh, yeah, there's a wet and soggy Molly. Kind of lurking in bed so it's not tough to get involved in doing their um, baths. I bathed and dried two of them last night so I feel like I've done my share. I was awake. I, well, I sloped. I uh, sloped. I sloped better. I slept better last night. I did wake up a couple of times for the loo. But I didn't have any trouble getting back off. Sometimes I wake up for the loo and then I lie awake for hours. Um, not being able to get back to sleep. So I got back off okay. I woke really early, about five, was awake until just before seven and then slept again for another hour and a half. So um, I don't feel too bad. Sometimes when I go back to sleep, I wake up with a headache, but I don't feel too bad. So I feel reasonably well rested today. I've got to go to Costco. I've got to do some laundry, not at Costco. I've got to do some laundry. 
I've got to go to Costco and I've got to do some listing today. And I had a good day of sales yesterday. I think I had eight sales totaling about 120 quid yesterday. So that was good. I only mind a couple of them were auction sales that went very low because I've still got some 199 auctions within to try and clear some old stuff out. So yeah, pleased with yesterday's sales. And uh, I suppose I better get up really, can't lie here all day. It's Christmas in Costco. That's a little bit big for my house. And also, I don't even know if I'm going to have a tree this year at all with the way Molly is. I could feel like every time we went out, she would literally just take the damn thing down. Might just draw a tree on the wall or something. This is what I need. I might get one of these. This is a headlamp in a hat. And it's a two-pack. I don't need a two-pack. I've only got one head. But when I've been walking the dogs at night, I can't actually see where the hell I'm going. There's absolutely no light at the park. I might get those. What do you think they run on? It says four LEDs. Oh, hang on. Dual action LED lighting system, two bright piercing spotlights, two soft, soft flood light. Battery replacement. Doesn't say what batteries. I'm sure it does somewhere. Oh, eight CR203 two batteries included. Do you know they're twelve pound? There's two in there. I'll have one, and Anthony will have one. I'm going to get that. I have been struggling with seeing where the hell I'm going when I'm up the park. So I'm going to get that. I'm happy with that. Even though it's twelve pound, I wasn't planning on spending when I walked to the door. But I'm not getting the twelve foot Christmas tree unless somebody wants to give me a fourteen foot house for Christmas. This is lovely. I couldn't live with it in my house, but it is lovely. Drive you bonkers in your house, wouldn't it? That is the Christmas Deluxe Carousel, and it's 149.98, including that. It's a lot to spend on something that would drive me bonkers in seconds. And then this one is the Animated Village. This one's not making such a racket. I could live with that, maybe. It is playing a song, but it's not quite so uh, strident. But I don't know how much the animated village is. It doesn't seem to be a price for that one. Next on my list of things I have no use for and don't have the right kind of home for. But oh my God, isn't it beautiful? Look at this. This is a George Jensen tray, stainless steel. I don't think you can see it properly because of the reflection on the glass cabinet. But it's just the most beautiful lines. Just a curved, smooth line. It's absolutely stunning. But again, I don't have that kind of home. When I get my second house that I told you guys I was going to get, second house that I don't live in, that I just go and sit in and admire, I'll have one of those in there. I just want to share this with you. This is the blanket that I have on my bed. I have the dark grey. If you have a Costco near you, get the hence and purchase one of these. They are under £20, including the VAT. They're £15.99 plus VAT, comes in at £19.18. They are absolutely massive really huge and they are the snuggliest coziest warmest i have gone to bed in a teddy bear blanket that you will ever own if you have a costco near you get the hence and get yourself one of these you will thank me for it you are welcome this is interesting in costco they have the weighted blankets they're 46 pounds and they're certainly not on my shopping list for today but i've seen these all over Instagram and everywhere recently. Um, it says a weighted black blanket simulates deep touch pressure, which may help promote a feeling of calm as well as better sleep. Um, I, like I said, I keep seeing these. I know they've been spoken about for people who have anxiety issues, and I'm not sure what other mental health issues they've been linked to. They they really are quite heavy. I don't I don't know what they're weighted with because I, actually you can feel in there that there's very fine. Or is there? I thought for a moment it was very fine beads, but it's really difficult to tell. I'm not sure what they're filled with, but it does feel quite heavy. I don't know how, whether I'd like it or not. But it's, it's supposed to promote a feeling of well-being and help me sleep better. And I could do with something that helps me sleep better. £46 is a lot to find out that it doesn't work, though, isn't it? Anybody out there tried one? Any opinions? Oh, cake. Many, many cakes. Look at that mini fresh cream Black Forest Gatto. Six pound a pack. That makes my pound each. That's an amazing price when you think what you would pay for that if you went into a restaurant. It's larger than you would get as a dessert in a restaurant. It looks amazing and it would be a pound. Fantastic. 
really good price. However, if I bought a pack of six, since they're fresh cream and nobody else likes them, I'd have to eat all six, and that would never do, would it? Just come round into the into the gift hamper section. I mean, they're very pretty, aren't they? Look at that. They look really very attractive, very appealing. There's um, this one is oh, there we go. Cocktail mugs. They're quite uh, quite fun. This was the one that caught my eye as I came around the corner. I know someone who would like that. That's a very very much a possible Christmas gift. Lunch time, couldn't decide between sliced pizza and a hot dog, so I've got both, and if I don't finish it, so be it. And of course Pepsi Max with my fabulous reusable straw from Mandy Michelle. Off we go. So I've just ended ended up with four packs of dog food. Slightly cheaper here than anywhere else. For 24 cans it works out just over a tenner, £10.68, and I think it's about 12 or 13 elsewhere. I bought a pack of this square sausage, $7.99 for the whole pack. <coughs> I'm going to open it and freeze them in individual slices to take out for breakfasts. For that purpose I bought some non-stick baking parchment because I'm trying to cut down on plastic and we'll always use it. And there's 50 metres there, that'll last me over a year, but we'll always use it. The power caps that I saw at the beginning, I got a big thing of comfort, this was just over a fiver. I will water that down so much you wouldn't believe, because in our family we believe in sloshing a load in. So I water it down to a ridiculous extent. And then 30 cans of Pepsi Max is just over 7 quid. And a loaf of bread. It's not really a huge Costco haul when you see what the, um, you know, like the large families in America when they do their Costco haul and they've spent two grand and they filled up six cars. It's not really that, but it'll do for me. walking out on. I think we can agree it's bright enough. <laughs> Very out of breath full of age because I've just walked at the park, taken them off the leads and both Kai and Buddy just turned around and went straight back home. Well I've set prayed out my sausage and sorted out my fabric conditioner. Tried to walk the dogs and failed because two of them came home because they're idiots. Those two idiots came home straight away. This one stayed out. None of the dogs are particularly enjoying the noise of fireworks. And I've got some of my flat sausage and an egg in a sandwich for my dinner. Got a Pepsi Max. Got a parcel to open in a minute. Gonna watch a bit of uh, a bit of the tube and chill out. My parcel is the top that I ordered. Um, yours clothing had 30% off and I've been eyeing it up. It's very difficult opening parcel one hand, bear with. I had been eyeing it up, it was £23.99 and after the discount, and it was also free delivery which made it particularly worth having, I think I paid, there we go, 16 07 with free delivery, so um treated myself to this and, and I can't get into anything, where's the in? There we go, it's, uh, it's slightly darker red than it's looking in the camera, it's more of a burgundy than a bright red, Um, just a long sleeved slightly warmer weight it's not a jumper but it's slightly warmer weight um autumn autumn top i'll try it on in a bit there we go sorry about the uh, shocking lighting but there's my new top and i didn't know it had pockets the joy of all women everywhere when we go it's got pockets so there we go that's my new top i'm really pleased with it i'm extra pleased because of the pockets so, yay terrible lighting though this, this this hallway lighting for you sorry about that Good morning, on Wednesday, 
here we are again on the dog walk. Hopefully it's going to be slightly more successful than last night when uh, two of us went home and only two of us stayed out. I include me in the four, obviously. Uh, Wednesday. Despite my big intentions yesterday of getting some listing done, I did absolutely nothing eBay related all day, which means today, definitely listing. Also going to the office. Going to the office because... Um, stuff to post so I'm going to the office to pick stuff up Kai's in the water Molly about Molly will probably go through any second now so yeah um, today has to be an eBay day because Monday wasn't much of one and Tuesday wasn't one at all so yeah eBay day today I am poaching an egg to have on my breakfast when did poaching eggs take so damn long I've been poaching this egg for about three weeks now <laughs> at this rate there'll be a fully grown chicken by the time I get to eat it Okay, it is five to two. I have drafted this pile here. These now need to be photographed. I've decided against going to the office. I've only got one thing that needs to go out today and that is something that I have here anyway. Um, the stuff that at the office, um, the dispatch is not on it until tomorrow, so I'll go tomorrow morning for that. Um, so I'm not gonna go out, I'm gonna stay here. I'm cold, I don't feel like going out very much. If there isn't anywhere I have to go, I'm not going to. So I'm gonna take these photographs chill out for a bit, might go and watch a bit of TV. I never watch TV during the day, but I might go and watch some TV. And, um, oh dear, that does terrible things to my neck skin, doesn't it? Elderly neck skin. Ooh. <laughs> Try and stretch out to look younger in the neck. Um, yeah, so if I don't have to go out, I'm not going to. Why the hell should I? And I'm going to photograph this lot now and then get it put away. And then some of the stuff that I've sold is stuff I've got here, so I'll package that and do those parcels at least. And uh, see, see where we go from there. This lot is now photographed, folded, bagged and labelled, ready to put away. I've uh, put the other stuff I say put the other stuff away, I've added the other stuff to piles. It's not really put away. Um, but yeah, and it's all listed now. It's scheduled to go on over the evening. Um, I think I need to have a bit of a tidy of that area. Have a bit of a tidy. Have a bit of a tidy of my desk as well. That's gone a bit peaked on recently. Yeah, a bit of a tidy up is next, I think. And then, then parcels. It's um, nine-ish, I think, although I'm not sure. And Mubel and I have gone to bed, haven't we? It's, yeah, it's bedtime. Went out for dinner with Natalie, which was nice. I had a lamb shank, which was absolutely delicious, but I could have done with it being about twice as big. And, uh, yeah. And Molly Moo has been a good girl three days running. I have not had a trashed front room for three days now, so... Everybody cross your fingers that we've turned over a new leaf. That would be good, wouldn't it, Moobal? Eh? Wouldn't it be good? It's so much nicer when everybody's happy with you, isn't it? Yes, it is. You're a good girl. Anyway, we'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Good morning on Thursday. It's 8.25am. I'm not looking great, am I? Oh, dear. That could do with some work. Today's a bit bitty. Um... I need to go to the office and pick some stuff up. I need to go and collect my sacks. I need to take a UPS parcel. I need to go to my mother's. I needed to go to Poundland. All of these things are in different directions. So today's going to be one of those days where I don't really know whether I'm coming or going. I'm, I've been trying to formulate a plan all morning for the best way around to do things and not doing very well. So, uh, yeah. And I look really rough this morning. <laughs> oh, dear. So, yeah. Um, very bitty day. The reason I'm going to the office is to pick up stuff that's sold, which then needs to be parceled. And it seems silly to do that and not parcel it and then take it before I go to the blah, blah, blah. blah. Yes, struggling to formulate a, a reasonable plan. However, I do have to walk the dogs and I have to do that now, so I'm going to get dressed. It's 10 to 11. I have walked the dogs. I've been to the office and picked up the um, stuff that I've sold. I've popped to the charity shop and bought some stuff that I absolutely don't need. I have got a new book which I'm quite pleased about. The War on Uncle, Uncle Walter. It is a, di a wartime diary of, of a real person. Autobiographical diaries. And then I've picked up some bits to sell. I've got a Witchwood Brewery t-shirt. That's a Christmas one. It's a bar humbug one. Always do well with brewery t-shirts, especially the Witchwood one. So that was £3. And then... I picked up a Christmas comforter, that was a pound. That is a John Lewis baby one. Needs a wash, it's a bit crusty. 
We won't think about the crustiness. I got a sea salt top. This was three pounds and it was almost against my better judgment, but I've never had a problem selling sea salt. It was just the price that made me swallow a bit for a plain t-shirt. This is a brand new bright green oasis wrap dress. I can't show you the whole thing because it's very long, but it was 350. It's still got its original tag on of uh, 40 pounds. And I thought with it being green, green is festive and it's brand new. A wrap dress is always popular. And then there were two Hobbs cardigans. This one was marked up at £3.50, £3, in £3 this kind of lime coloured one with the ruffle. And then this one was marked up at £6.50. And it, um, it's actually not in as good condition as the first one. So I said to the, the chap, I, don't, I wouldn't normally haggle in a charity shop, but I will query if something doesn't seem sensible. So I said to the guy, um, just wanted to ask, these are both the same brand. This one is more than twice the price and yet it's in poorer condition than the first one. And he said, oh, they're both at the same price. So I said, thank you very much. So, um, it'll, I mean, I'll get my d bobber on that and it'll be okay. But I wouldn't have paid 6 50 for it in that condition. So, but you know, I wouldn't have actually physically haggled. I would have just left it if they were, if they were happy with their price. So, so yeah, so I didn't need any of that. What I did need was breakfast. And this is Caroline's fault. It's not Caroline's fault that I needed breakfast. I mean, I need breakfast because I need breakfast. But this, the reason that I've got this is this is a Greg's festive bake. I've never tried one. Caroline assures me that they are the dog's doodars. So, Caroline, if they're not, I should blame you. They're very flaky. That is actually the dog's doodars. That's delicious. I'm going to finish this and then I'm off to pick up my uh, bulk by sack clothing. See you in a bit. It's 20 past five. It feels like 20 past bedtime, I tell you. I've um, got home. I'm just about to watch Josh's um, Sunday car boot haul video whilst I go through today's bulk by sacks. And then I've got to do parcels. I'm, I'm trying to show you my bag of parcels, but it's, you know, anyway, I've got to do parcels. And um, and I'm, I'm ready for bed already. Mm. Got to go to work, 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 work. Gotta say, if I was a man, I would want to wear this inside out. Look at that gorgeous lining. This is a jacket by Next Tailoring. It's pretty, I'm pretty sure it's a men's case. It's a 38. Uh, skinny fit, and yeah. It, I it's, although it's in a bag of lady stuff, pretty sure it's a men's. But look at that gorgeous lining. I would wear it inside out. All sacks are sorted. The bits I'm keeping are there. The bits that are going elsewhere now need to be boxed. Oh, long job. Done now, though. Half past nine. I'm in bed. The ghost buddy. The angry spud man. Got a little moobble. Oh, you're groaning about, buddy. Um, I'm in bed. Time for sleep. I've got one episode of Big Bang to watch, and then I'm going to read a bit of my new book. And catch some zeds, and tomorrow's a whole new day. Good morning, vlog. It is. What time is it, Molly? It's half past seven. Molly and I are up, aren't we? We are. Yes, I love your kisses, but I'm trying to talk to the vlog. They're very nice kisses. We're up. I've had a shower. I've got to go to Home Bargains today. I was going to go to Poundland and do a Poundland video. But the light bulb in the bathroom is behaving crazy. And I know they come from Home Bargains. They're LED, supposedly last forever, never have to buy another one. Obviously, that's not true. Otherwise, you know, light bulb people have got a business, wouldn't they, after they'd sold the first one? So built-in obsolescence, despite the fact that you're never supposed to have to buy another one. From Home Bargains. And I know Poundland won't sell them because there's no way they're a pound. They're like 6 99 in Home Bargains or something. When did light bulbs get so expensive? So I'm going to go to Home Bargains today, Molly. She's listening like, she's listening like she cares. I'm going to go to Home Bargains today and then do a Home Bargains haul video later. And I also need to go to the bank. And you're far too close. I've just realised that you're right, right there. <laughs> I also need to go to the bank. But I've had my shower. It's only half past seven. Have I said that? I've had my shower. I'm going to sit and chill for a bit. I'm a bit wheezy still from my cold and cough. So um, chill for a bit and then get dressed. I don't know if I'm on the morning dog walk. 
and to appear at some point, and then I'll find out. So yeah, that's Friday. Um, got back into bed to get warm after my shower. <laughs> um, had my hair twisted up. It's begun to dry. It's doing some terrifying stuff. <laughs> Hair, hair terrifying, face terrifying. The fact that I went back to sleep and now it's five to ten. Terrifying. Scary, scary world, people. Scary, scary world. Up and out. Straight in my fringe so as not to terrify the natives. Uh, it's a lovely day. It's a really, really nice autumnal day. Just me and the two dogs. Buddy wasn't there when I got up this morning, so Anthony must have come back and got him last night while I was asleep. If that we disappeared in the night. So, uh, yes, yeah, so, it's a really nice day. Look at that. Sun shining and dogs plodding. Molly's not plodding, Molly's bugging off. Yeah, walk dogs, go back, give them their breakfast, find something to eat, and then pop off and do my shopping, I think. Nice day for it. Hello, it's quarter past 12. I was tickety boo until about half past 11 sorry, just negotiating a corner I was tickety boo until about half past 11 when I sat down to eat my late breakfast, maybe 11ish and felt a headache coming down across this side of my eye randomly for no reason and it's, it's good and, it's good and it's not so bad that I can't drive I have to sometimes I have to assess whether I feel like I'm actually safe to drive or not and it's not so bad that I can't drive it's just not particularly enjoyable. Ooh, you don't need to pull out on me. Um, so yeah, I, I can't, I'm not unsafe to drive. There are times when they interfere with my vision and with my spatial awareness. So for example, I might misjudge whether or not I can walk through a door frame, walk into the frame rather than through the gap. On those days, I don't drive because if you can't judge for yourself whether it's safe to walk through a door frame it's certainly not safe to drive a couple of tons of metal around the place putting people at risk is it so on, these, on those days I don't drive but today's not one of those days I don't have no interference with my vision or with my spatial awareness today I just have a bloody headache so um, this is, it slowed me down considerably on getting my parcels done because I was just kind of like Ugh. but I'm, gonna, I'm on my way to the parcel shop now and then I'm off to home bargains as planned. I really, really like these. I do not need them. I have no use for them. I don't even drink out of a glass. I drink Pepsi Max out of a can, but I really, really like them. <laughs> Put them back, can't be sensible. Okay, I'm home. Just pulled up outside. That was the worst visit to home bargains I've ever had in my life. There were three separate children not having a good day in there today. Not three all with one parent, three separate sets of children all not enjoying being in home bargains and when you know as you know when your kid is not enjoying it you're also not enjoying it so I do feel for the parents but I felt more for me because I was like please shut up please stop crying please move away please go please leave me <laughs> I'm not very fond of kids at the best of times <laughs> when they're screaming <clears throat> I can sympathize with them if they're screaming in pain I can just about deal with baby screaming because they cannot communicate other any other way but I'm not good with children screaming simply because they want that toy and they're not getting it. I'm not good with that at all. I just think most of us aren't. It's just that most of us don't admit it. 
So I'm going to go in now, do my haul. Oh, not, after all that, I forgot the one thing that I was meant to go in for, so then I had to go in Fire Cruise to get that. So on the ball today. So yeah, go in, do my haul video, and then probably do something with this haystack that appears to be growing on my head. Now, okay, I'm just going to bed. Put my new grey pillowcases on to replace the other ones. I forgot you don't know that. In my home bargains haul, I mentioned that I've bought four new grey pillowcases to replace the burgundy ones that I bought when I <coughs> excuse me, when I redid the room. Because the burgundy ones have got some kind of freakish attract a lot of dog hair kind of material and it doesn't come off. So I just bought four new grey ones and I put them on and that wasn't very interesting at all, was it? Anyway, I'm in bed. Usual thing, gonna watch the Big Bang and then read some book and go to sleep. Didn't achieve very much after I filmed my home bargain tour when I got home, but I haven't achieved very much since then today, to be honest. I've done no listing. I was I was gonna do some listing today, but that hasn't happened. Um straighten my hair. That's pretty much all I've achieved. So I will see you tomorrow and tomorrow Lex comes to stay. Do you know what? I am absolutely fuming. Good morning, by the way, on Saturday. I'm extremely angry and I will show you why. Because you will remember from the beginning of this vlog how hard I worked in this kitchen on Monday morning. And look at it now. Just look at it. Look at the damn state of this kitchen again after I spent two sodding hours in here Monday morning scrubbing and cleaning and putting shit away and just generally clearing surfaces so that this isn't how I live. Again. Okay, I have calmed down a bit now. Vlog. We are watching some kind of weird children vloggers. It's the Norris nuts. It's the Norris nuts. Apparently they don't brush their hair before they film. <laughs> I feel like I could identify with these people because even I though I do brush my hair my before hair. I film, it hasn't done me any good. I haven't brushed my hair. Lexi hasn't brushed her hair. Freya, have you brushed your hair? Freya always looks like a lady. We have bacon rolls. Lexi looks like Stig of the Dump. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Lex. <laughs> they have had, they've had bacon rolls. I've had a sausage and egg McMuffin. I'm trying to copy a McDonald's McMuffin and failing. What you doing? <laughs> what you doing? That was a bit Joey, right? right? Maybe not too Joey. What are you doing? Are you just being in my vlog? Yeah. I'll just turn it around so you're not in. Ha ha, you're not in anymore. <laughs> you're, not in. you're not in. You're not in. You're not in. She's not in. She's not in. Ah, she's in. <laughs> okay, she's in the vlog. Freya! You can only be in the vlog if you say something useful and educational for the benefit of mankind. I do not know what that means. <laughs> Never work with children or animals. Clever. Oh. Uh -huh. Tell the vlog a joke. Do you know any jokes? Tell the vlog a joke. <laughs> knock knock. Who's there? <laughs> Voodoo. Voodoo? Voodoo who? Voodoo you think you are asking me so many questions. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's a soggy Lex. <laughs> it's raining in Brizzle. Was it raining in Wales? Yes. It always rains in Wales. Hello. Hello. Brought your tits, I see. Yeah, it works. It's a man's shirt. It doesn't. <coughs> it's not built for boobies. Yeah. <laughs> this for me. Yeah. Could you not even wrap it or anything? Oh wow. Did you already tell her about it? Because she doesn't seem very surprised. No, she knew she had a present. I knew it was going to be this, to be honest. <laughs> she knew she had a present, I didn't tell her what it was. But Let's that's see. no good at presents. I got too excited. Ooh, pretty colours. I like that one, I like that one. Like Show the vlog what it is you've got. It's, it's the new Shane X Jeffrey Controversy palette. This is Josh losing his Costco virginity. <laughs> Josh has never been to Costco. Uh, this is only my Got this as well. Hi. <laughs> 30 litres. Of wine. Who do we know who could drink 30 litres of wine? Caroline, we've found you a glass. <laughs> it's 59.98, including VAT. Oh, that's tempting. It's a foot massage thing. So that feels awesome. I know you're meant to put your feet in there, but that feels really nice. <laughs> oh, it's up there, look. Oh, 59.98 including VAT. Oh. oh, and they got a back one. 
Yeah, there it is. Have a sit down and have a play. The control's in the seat. Oh, hello. <laughs> Please don't make a mess in Costco. My eyes. <laughs> I think you've just sold it to this lady. <laughs> she didn't even come in for that. I should be on commission. It's lovely, isn't it? Oh, really? You don't think I'm going to get her out of here now? Oh, God. Oh. Holy cow. Yeah, I think I think this is me. <laughs> Jesus. It's really good. Go nicely in your really reupholstered armchair. It really would, wouldn't it? Uh -huh. <laughs> you just go shopping and come back for it a minute. <laughs> I think we might have to. Good morning. It's Sunday, 7.34 a.m. Me and Molly are up, aren't we, Moo? Yeah, we're up. Lex is up, she's all ready to go downstairs. We're meeting Josh at the car boot sale at 8 o'clock and then going for breakfast after that. So, uh, I'm I've just put a woolly jumper on for the first time this year, bearing in mind that I'm still always damn hot, but it was chilly yesterday. But I'm struggling, sorry, it's got a dog in I'm struggling with that layering thing because part of me says <clears throat> put a thin t shirt on underneath, and then if you get too hot in the jumper, you can take it off. And part of me is like, but you're already too hot with one layer on, so if you put the thin t shirt on, how are you going to cope? Which sounds silly, doesn't it? Yeah. Anyway, we're just going to go with the jumper and then I'll complain about it all day. I think that's the plan. What's going on with my face? It's just your face, mate. Oh dear. It's. What time is it, Lex? It's five to eight. Five Why to eight. Why do I timestamp all of my clips? Um, do people care what time it is? In case they don't believe you and they go, she's filmed this all in one day. <laughs> she's just got <laughs> 42 changes of clothing. <laughs> like Kylie. And kept on changing her hairstyle. Then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it's five to eight and we're off. Right! <laughs> right! It's five to eight. And we're off to the car boot sale. <laughs> and I've got Hiya. this with me. <laughs> it's, it's cold. It's not. I've got, I literally, I've just got this jumper on. I'm already too hot. Really? Yeah. I've got like vest, t-shirt, dress, hoodie, coat. Get a menopause, they're great. They save um, a fortune on your heating, honestly. <laughs> as much as, as I agree with some of the concepts of the menopause, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not entirely sold. <laughs> not getting my vote just yet. No. Not no. Vote for menopause. Off to the car boot. So what are we buying today, Lexilicious? Um, I'm looking for jewellery, as always. Um, vintage Christmas decorations, preferably uh, mercury glass, um, and a kitten. A kitten? Or a bunny. Not a stuffed fox? No, actually. I've kind of gone off the idea of a stuffed fox. I haven't fox. seen the stuffed fox for a while, so maybe he finally sold it. Or maybe he's buried it. I feel like he would have buried it. It was in a case. Mm, I feel like true. he had no intention of ever giving it a decent burial. No. Poor thing, it looked very confused. And we're supposed to be meeting Josh at 8 o'clock, so this is where we discover whether Josh, Josh can get out of bed this morning. Stop. What you got, Lex? Do you want to see my snorkel? <laughs> just sounds weird, doesn't it? Is it all Achille or is it just like, you know, 70s and no, then this is it's like, like a... where all Achille gets her inspiration? Yeah, I think yeah. That, that one. Yeah, what else do you buy? Um, a free cup of tea. It's not buying, is it? That's not how buying works. And um, some jewellery, which are in here. But that's about it, really. I got a dog bed for Molly. And a trolley full of random stuff. And a bag full of random stuff for and, Yeah, oh yeah, and a bag full of random stuff. It's not all my random stuff in the bag. Yeah. Some of it's yours. No. Yeah, some I of the stuff you put in the bag was... I don't... Some of the stuff you put in the bag I assumed was yours. Oh. And I got a load of random stuff that I don't want. Emma Bridgewater <laughs> tin? Yeah, but some of the other stuff was yours. I'm sure it was. No. Maybe some of it's Josh's. Apparently most of the stuff in there is mine. I thought it was yours. No, it's 90% yours. Excellent. Well, thank you for carrying my stuff. That's fine. Do again. Look at Lexi's funny remember, face. I can't remember how I did it. I think you had eyes crossed and, and teeth out. No, that's not quite the same. No. You, you, no. 
I don't know. I'm We've had breakfast. No. Of Carla's brain. Yeah, this is how Carla's brain looks. <laughs> that is definitely how my brain looks. <laughs> We've had breakfast. Josh hasn't eaten his bacon rind. Bacon rind is good for little robins. With little peepees. <laughs> what was that, Lex? Little peepee. Has Josh got a little peepee? Have Apparently. You got, got a little peepee, Josh? have to prove that wrong at Hitchin. Not here. I say not here not not here at the Toby Carvery for breakfast for God's sake. Who are you gonna prove it wrong with at Hitchin, Josh? Lex. Oh Lex. Lex. Oh don't get any other yeah, we'll your, see. any you know. I look forward to the YouTube video. Bed <laughs> at the car boot sale and she has got in it. She's a bit puzzled because she's like, don't think this is my bed. It's under the desk. I wanted somewhere where she could be she she likes to sit by me but she sits by the chair and then I wheel over her toes. So yeah, so she's she's got in it quite happily. She's like I said, she's a bit hmm, not sure about this, but she's in, so yay. Red velvet trifle, ice cream, a chocolate marshmallow thing from the fountain, and some fake Smarties. That's my pud. Lex has got nipples. <laughs> Do you want to see me eat one? <laughs> Just walking through Millennium Square. I've lived in Bristol all my life. Millennium Square was rebuilt a long time ago now. I've never seen these before. Look at these little paddling doggos. Stone swimming doggos. I thought you were going to jump Aww. on his head then. It's not real water. She's a terrible person. Yeah, stone doggos. I love those. We've never seen anything so entertaining as left trying to work a tape gun and manage a box. So I had your jewellery. Stay at that. <laughs> Sorry. State of that. I'm rubbish at you. Even the dog's laughing at you. Even Clay's laughing. It is time to say goodnight to this week's waffle. Sorry, Natalie wants scissors so she can cut Lex's feet off. Um, we've had a lovely day, haven't we, Lex? Yeah, apart from the fact that I, I am now sellotaped together. I'm... It's not hurting me. It's not sellotape, is it? It's kind of like shrink wrap. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, Natalie's just I'm shrink wrapped. Shrink wrapped. Her. Yeah. Um, so yeah, um, it's time to say goodnight to the waffle. I just want to say at this point that the waffle is moving. The waffle this week, obviously, this is, tonight's going to come out on Sunday as usual. Um, late Sunday, early Monday. Lex is crazy. But from next week onwards, the waffle will be available to watch on Tuesdays. Um, I can't be sure whether it's going to come out Tuesday mornings or, or later on Tuesdays, to be honest, until I work out the scheduling thing and work out what I'm doing there. But it will come out on Tuesdays, and this is because I'm trying to stagger things. I do my live stream on a Sunday, so I want the waffle to come out on a Tuesday and then another video out later in the week. I'm just trying to stagger my content a little bit. So um, thank you for watching, and um, I'll be back next week with more waffle. Bye for now. Bye-bye. Be a nice day to stop vlogging. This is Lex trying to walk with her ankles tied together. <laughs> Kai thinks it's a bit odd. Can you can you jump? Can you do a kind of like a hop jump, like a bunny rabbit? Mm. <laughs> no, apparently she can't. <laughs> That's not nice. <laughs> She's mean. Yeah.